Well, the Kentucky Crafted Market offers art, live music, literature, and food. Exhibitors like Melissa Aish will also be there. And we do thank you very much for joining us. You've brought in some of your goods. How wonderful. Uh, yes, thank you. Tell us how you got started with this. So I've been keeping a journal since I was about six years old. So that's kind of the interest in bookmaking goes way back. And uh, so I first started making books for about seven years and I've just added the bags in the past couple of years. I want to back really up a second. Neat. You said you've been journaling since you were six? Yes. Well, that must yeah. be quite a story. Yeah, I, I think some of us are just kind of, uh, we just tend towards certain things. And writing for me has just been a way to mm -hmm. kind of process and understand life and experiences. You write about each day kind of thing? Not necessarily. Yeah. It's more of when uh, there are things I want to remember or things that I'm working out trying mm -hmm. to understand more mm -hmm. so when they always say that is the best way to learn to write and to you know put all your feelings down there so it's it it's helps. a great habit to have yeah. so tell us about this market yeah so the um, the market will show um, <clears throat> artists from all over the state um, there will people be people there who are making baskets and woodwork and leather and fiber art and painting so there's gonna be all kinds of art there's also Kentucky proud food and live music it's one of those events where you can go and spend the whole day and enjoy all of your senses. And it's also the first show for a lot of the artists for the year. So there's lots of, the atmosphere is full of uh, anticipation and yeah, excitement. Yeah, kind of charged. Yeah, yeah kind of kicking it. off that really yeah. great season. You've yeah. told us that you've taken part since 2012. I uh, have, So yeah. have you seen it grow and, and, and kind of evolve over the years? Yeah, it keeps changing. You know, last year we were in Louisville and this year we're back in Lexington. We're at the um, Alltech Arena. So, uh, so the way that the demographic is that comes just kind of keeps changing, but people travel in from it from all over the state, even from other states. It's it's a big deal. And uh, the Kentucky Art Council who puts it on, they're incredibly supportive of us all year round and they do a really good job with this show. Well, I always think one of the best things is that you get a chance to meet all of these people who are coming in and seeing your goods. Yeah, yeah, and it's really fun to see, uh, especially this show because it's so early in the year, you get to see how people respond to certain designs and uh, new materials that you're using and you just get really good feedback. It's really fun. Oh, yeah. Very good. We were very showing good. off some of what you brought while you were here and uh, uh, folks uh, have that opportunity to check that out Friday through in Sunday. Person. Yeah. Right, <laughs> at the Kentucky Horse Park All Tech Arena. Maybe find something that, uh, you know, you've been looking for a long time, right? Yes, good, good place to do that.